Hey, welcome to video number 95. This is going to be about solar eclipses. So a solar eclipse happens during the new moon phase. And remember, this is when you would see what would look all black. Uh, and this means that it's between the Earth and the Sun, and it blocks your view of the Sun. And it's because the moon shadow hits Earth. Now, of course, the moon is much, 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 much smaller than the Sun. So here's the diagram. So notice uh, the difference between a solar and lunar eclipse has to do with where the Earth and the Moon are. They've swapped positions. Uh, so you see you now have the Sun, the Moon, and the Earth. So notice that the shadow that's going to cast, because the Moon is much smaller, uh, is only going to uh, affect a small portion of the Earth. So this is actually what it looks like, a solar eclipse. It's when the moon casts a shadow on the Earth due to the alignment of the sun, moon, and Earth. This is a great defini definition for you. And it's because the moon is in the way of the sunlight. The eclipse that occurs on July 11th uh, is a total solar eclipse, and it takes place in the South Pacific. The path of the moon's shadow starts about 1,000 miles north of New Zealand, sweeps across the Pacific Ocean, and it ends at sunset in Tierra del Fuego in Chile, in Argentina. Totality will last up to about five minutes and 20 seconds if you're at the right spot. One of the most cases, this is the first total eclipse that's hit the island um, in about 1400 years. So during a total solar eclipse, the moon cr comes between the sun and the earth and it casts a shadow on the earth. And for those people that happen to be in that, that small area where the shadow is, they're going to experience what we call a total solar eclipse. And basically, the moon exactly blocks out the solar disk, which is a good thing for those of us that study the outer atmosphere, because in blocking out the very, very bright solar disk, we are then able to view the outer atmosphere called the corona which is much less bright. It's about a million times less bright than the disk. So. Oh, you can see the moon. Can you see the moon on the, on the top? Oh, yeah. It's just vanished. You can see the limb of the moon there. Absolutely fantastic. You can see the, the celestial mechanics, the clockwork of the solar system at work. The, the alignment is absolutely perfect. that we live in the solar system, that we are on a ball of rock orbiting around the sun with other balls of rock, then look at that. That's the, the solar system. What about eclipses and shadows? Well, most months the moons revolve around Earth without moving into a shadow at all, either the moon or the Earth. But you can have something called a partial or total, and this can happen with eclipses. It can be whole or a part, and it totally depends on the location of the shadow from the Earth and Moon. And remember, that has to do with size, okay? The Earth is obviously four times bigger than the Moon, so that shadow would be much bigger. So let's talk about the time frame in eclipses, uh, and you get one or two eclipses per year. Uh, they happen in different locations, and I know some of you guys are really interested in this, so I'm listing a website for you here that'll show you the time and date of certain eclipses. Uh, the next one is going to be April 15th uh, this year. At 12.55, it's going to be a lunar eclipse. So just as we've been talking about um, the Earth and the Moon have eclipses, uh, that would make a lot of sense that other planets would have eclipses too. Um, the picture that you see here is actually Jupiter. And see that small black dot? That's the shadow casted by its moon called Io. Um, and that's really how big Jupiter is compared to its moons. Uh, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and Mars also all have eclipses as well. Um, and if you would want to see some pictures of those, you can definitely Google them. Summary time. So diagram a solar eclipse. What makes a solar eclipse different from a lunar one? Do other planets have eclipses? If so, list three of them. And Google and find out when the next solar and lunar eclipses are coming in 2015. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in class.